Hivers, welcome to Honeybee Stamping Hive, where creative buzz is always in the air. I am Tashana Lundy, your independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator in Florida, serving customers all over the United States. Today, we're going to be looking at the Gorgeous Posies Project Kit. It comes in this cute little box. It makes 16 cards. And the stamp set that pairs with it is the Gorgeous, Gorgeous Posies stamp set. You have to purchase this separate. But this box contains all the supplies you need to make, 16 cards. So um, everything that you need, like adhesive, dimensionals, ink pads, none of that is included, including the stamp set is not included. But all the paper products you need to create 16 beautiful cards. These are the cards that it makes. That's the box, and you get four different designs of cards with the envelopes. So let me take everything out. You have some ribbon and twine. And then let's take out all the contents of the kit. Okay, it comes wrapped in plastic. I just opened mine because I'm about to make a card for you. That's the cardboard backing. You have some die cut. Um, pieces to stamp your um, sentiments on some die cut oh there's I'm sorry come on there's another sentiment layer these are some die cuts for your embellishments and more sentiment layers they're all the same these are the envelopes they're super cute that's one side of them and the other This is a die cut. We're going to need this one and that. And this is the card we're going to be making today. And let me just show you. You get um, three different color card bases. And then these are the card fronts. So you have this one. This one here. This one and this one. So take a look in each one and this is the one we're going to be making okay so let's go ahead and get started oh let me tell you the colors that coordinate with this kit the colors in this kit are gorgeous grape blackberry bliss blushing bride gold highland heather mint macaron purple posy shaded purple posy shaded spruce and soft sea foam and white okay so we're going to go ahead and get started on our card it's very simple to put together so the first thing i'm going to do is get some stamping done on this and you and this has stitching on it and you can use either side but one side it shows like a little of a burnt look like the laser that cut them the die cuts out left a little burn mark so it's kind of brownish. I like that side. The other side is just plain white, but I like that side of it. So that's the side I'm gonna use. Get my gorgeous grape ink, and I'm gonna be stamping wishing you comfort and peace at this time, because like I've told you guys, I need a lot of sympathy cards right now. So that's what I've been making lately. And I'm going to stamp this more to the left of the sentiment layer. And we're going to use one of these pinks and one of the purples of this. And then two of the um, single leaves. I'm going to take this one here and this one on the end. I'm not sure if it matters which ones you take, but those are the ones I chose to use. And I'm sorry, I forgot. I need to get some glue. My glue ran out, so I need some new one. Let me just open that up here. And we're gonna just glue this down to the base. Make sure you have it going the right direction. So this is just gonna get glued flat down to the base. And this is just how the um, instructions suggested that you put this particular 
card front on this base but if you want you can mix and match however you like to do it we're going to add some stampin dimensionals on the back of this little label here and i am going to put um two mini dimensionals in the middle of those bigger ones just to give it support all around and before i take that off I'm gonna add a strip of um, adhesive going across here to hold our ribbon that we're gonna put on. And I'm just gonna use our stamping seal to do that. And I'm gonna put it like a little bit above this um, big flower here. It's just to hold our ribbon down. And I've taken about, let me measure this. I'm sure it says in the instructions, but about five and a quarter inch of this ribbon. I'm just gonna lay that down right here across the center. And then we're gonna pop the sentiment up right over it. Get these backings off. And we're gonna cover up just about halfway And I want to sit this sentiment more to the left as well. I mean, did I say left the first time? To the right. <laughs> Everything is to the right. Oh, my goodness. Okay. And then I'm going to glue these leaves onto the um, little circle flowers. Just a dot of glue. Just going to adhere them with some glue. Just a little, just a little bit. That's all we need. Okay, and this one is gonna get put about right here. So I'm checking this because I want it to go about right there. So I wanna put my dimensional more towards the top. So up here. And I think I'll use too many dimensionals to do that. just to be sure I have it where I want it. Let's set that right there. Then our purple one, we want going about right here. So I'm gonna put the dimensional right there, right there, and I'm gonna use another mini one for that. And I'll just use one on this one. Oh, oh. I didn't want it. I want to turn it a little bit because I want to see. I wanted to see some of that design. Okay, and then the last step we have is to tie a bow with some of this twine. So let me just get this out here. Just cut that off. And I'm gonna leave my tails pretty long. I wanna um, try to untwist this. I hate with my twine. Let me retie that when it curls up like that. I'm just sticking my fingers in the bow, the loops, to try to <laughs> try to make that bow stay. There we go. It twisted a little bit, but not much. And I don't have my glue dots next to me, so what I'm gonna do, that's a little big, is just put a little bit of liquid glue on the back of this. I'm trying not to squeeze too much because this is a new one. I don't want too much to come out. Just a dab of liquid glue. And we're gonna put this right underneath this purple um, circle. 
So that's, you can still see it, but it's not covering up our words. Okay. And this is the matching envelope for the gorgeous posy project kit. That's what I have for you today. Don't forget to leave a comment, like, share, and subscribe. And as always, I want to thank you for buzzing by the hive today. Until next time, buzz you later. Bye.